Are you ready for a surprise? We're gonna be doing something really fun today. A lot of you don't know, but when I was a stylist, I used to work with the iconic rock and roll photographer, Mark Weiss. And we're gonna be going behind the scenes as he's hanging a show to find out what it takes to be a rock and roll photographer, rock the ages, and see a little fabulous rock and roll. So you ready? Get your hair really big. We're gonna roll. Sharon Haber, the founder of FocusOnStyle.com, and I'm here with my old friend Mark Weiss. I'm not that old. Well, I am kind of. Well, he's kind of. Well, not really that old, but we know each other like 20, 30, 25 right. years. 40 years, 50. 75. It makes us even younger. That's right. That's we, look bad. we look good for being 99. But anyway, when I was a stylist, I used to work with Mark a lot and do a lot of work with celebrities. And what would happen is dusk would come, and all of a sudden, from having these sort of neurotic soap opera actors that's all concerned about how they look, the skinny guys with black jeans would come in, skinny, skinny black jeans, and lots of big hair. And all of a sudden, the energy would change because it was Mark's rock and roll time. And these were all your friends, and you were one of the biggest and still are rock and roll photographers. And today we're here with your, do you want to call this a retrospective or? No, this is called, this is, this is basically just photographs that, that rock the ages, rock, that rock the decade that rock the ages, which is like, you know, it's like, it's 25 years later, everything comes in full circle. So this is like, because of the movie coming out, the, and the, the, the play, and all, everything just. And the movie coming out on your birthday. Uh, June 15th of my birthday, right, 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 right. And then the thing is, like, you know, Tom Cruise sings One and Dead or Alive, so it's like that's not the album cover that I did, and then Poison and Twisted Sister, an album cover that I did. So it's all, you know, it's finally, I didn't think it was going to come, but it just, everything came when it was supposed to. You see, that's the way it all works out. Well, I am a procrastinator, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I procrastinated this long to do something as big as this. Yeah, so. you're making it seem like it was kind of a void, but there wasn't a void, because you've been taking these photos for so long, and now it's sort of that, that one era where I guess you were the most known for at the time is suddenly more becoming the glamorized era of the moment. But well, you've been yeah. kicking for 25 Listen, years. Listen, I still, I, I'm still, actually it's probably 35 years, you know, I started when I was 14 shooting like, you know, Zeppelin and Kiss and all that, actually when I was 17. And uh, you know, started you know taking pictures all in front of the garden, and just kind of networked into the '80s, and then the '80s came. And to me, the '80s were just a bunch of posers that were friends of mine that were fun to hang around with. And you know, they to me they weren't like superstars, even though looking back now they are. And, and you know, a lot of them play clubs now. A lot of them play still play arenas, and I'm still friends with all of them. I still shoot them all. If I can make some money doing it, it's fine. But you know, I also sh just shot One Direction last week, and I also, you know, I did Gwen Stefani's album cover a few years ago, and Christina Aguilera maybe seven or eight years ago. So I'm still up on you know, whoever wants to work with me. I'm, I'm a people photographer, but I love rock. That's one of the things that's interesting. When we used to work together, most of the stuff we did was more posed. And what I think we're most known for is getting people in the act. I never had enough hair to be in a hair band. So I've got poodles, poodle hair. So what happens when you have some guy in a hair band and he's been singing for, I don't know, not even 25 years, 15 years, 10 years, and he starts to lose the hair? Do they get wigs? Do they do implants? Is there, is there anyone who's ever gone bald? I mean, what do you do? I mean, could you imagine a, Could you imagine someone with a comb over and be like, what could you do? No, well, actually, back in the day, yeah. these bands ended up being like, 30 and some of them were losing their hair so they were doing that they were trying everything Rogaine they were trying they were doing weaves it was big back then uh, I know one of the guys had a little patch in the back he used a little spray they used a little oh, that black yeah spray. yeah they did it all oh, yeah I mean one of my good friends actually he passed away a couple years ago um, Kevin Dubrow from Quiet Riot I mean he he took it a little extreme he went from little curly hair you know, it just wasn't meant to have long hair. To this, to, the, to this, to this big, like mop, and you know, and he. So that was his thing. We're gonna let them finish hanging the show, and I can't wait to see how it all turns out. I know it'll be fast. See you soon.